Guys, Jack's goatee here. Look at that beautiful goatee. Zoom into the goatee. It's so good. All right, I'll take it from here now. Thank you. Today, guys, we're going around on the boat. We're looking in all these little tunnels that oh are God, all- Look at all the fish. Look at all the mullet. See him? Oh They're yeah. pooping. Today, we're going around in my canal on the boat. We're looking for big kudas that we can put in the pond. We're gonna try it again, and anything living in these little tunnels tucked away in all the canals. That's what we're looking for today. Hopefully, we can catch something nice. We got some live bait, and we are ready to catch some cool fish. Let's jump right into the video. So we were just filming the intro. We had a school of about 500 mullet swim right up to the boat. So we're gonna see if we can throw this net on them, get a nice, live, fresh food for pots and pans. Let's do it. These ones are huge. Probably not. No. Negative. We just pulled off the dock, which means you gotta get lines in the water right away. We got a nice frisky live pilchard. Look at how green he is. He's gonna stand out like a sore thumb here. Little piece of wire, because guess what? We're fishing for those toothy critters. We should catch something. Let's do it. Hang on, we got a big one here, guys. We got a big one. That's how we do it. That's how we do it fish guy style right there. Plastic removed from the ocean, baby. You gotta love it. Crap. Crap. Flip it, can you? Maybe fish aren't extinct. Aren't extinct. Ugh. We take that. We take those. That's perfect for the pot. We dude. eat those up. Maybe pots will eat that. Should we try to feed it to him? Dude. That would be sick. He would smoke. This. All right, put him in the bucket. Look at this. We got a jack hole and a jack here. This thing is basically just a missile here. They are one of the fastest, hardest fighting fish in the ocean. Fork tail like that, which indicates. Listen, this guy's a fast swimmer. And I think he's not gonna be fast enough for Pots the Grouper. That is a cool looking fish. We're gonna add him to the bucket. Let's see if we can maybe catch some other stuff. And this might be just a big, huge fish feeding frenzy in the saltwater pond today. Let's put him in the bucket. Me and Jack and Brooke, we just had a delicious lunch in our brand new Fish Guy shirts into the deep, which is fire. We left the rod out there with a the pilcher on it, and we are on. Could be a nice cuda. Oh, yeah. Is it a cuda? No, it's not a cuda. You know what it is? It's a natal, isn't it? Dude, that is the biggest needlefish we've caught at this dock. Holy cow, he's a hog. All right, let's take a look at this beautiful, fine creature right here. That's a needlefish if I've ever seen one. Can I put my finger in there? Yeah, try it. Well, he actually... Right. Look he'll... at that thing, though. Dude, he's almost probably two feet long. That's a gnarly... Look at that! Gnarly... Oh! Did you hear that shit? He clenched that. There he goes. Goodbye, buddy! That's fish number two at the dock today, but if you look over there, look at the huge boil. Look at the huge wake on the top. There's a big fish over there. I think we gotta get the cast in. I think it's gonna be a huge school mullet. And then we're gonna take that jack that we caught and we're gonna do a huge epic feeding in the pond. Let's do it. Sure. You might have got them. Yeah, we oh. got one. Okay. Ooh, that's a big one though, Brooke. We'll take him. Oh, dude, that is a... Okay, guys, I just ate lunch. When I finished up my lunch, I had a nice Milky Way bar. That right there is a Milky Way bar to pots. And you know what? If I'm eating one, he's gotta eat one too. Look at that thing. Oh. No, we're snagged. What we're snagged. Doing? Dude, we have some giants in here, though. Please. These things are hogs. What the fuck are we on, dude? Oh, my God. Yeah. No, they just got out. Do you, uh, do you know how many just got out of the net? Well, we got some big boys, though. Look at the size of that one. Pans is about to go so hard, you guys. We just pulled up here and just crushed them. Please. Look at that. Dude, that thing is as big as my arm. Pans is about to light these things up. Look at those. Big giant mullet. Guys, we had literally probably like triple what we just caught. But you know what? They got out and they're still right there. I think they're too big for the bucket even. Oh my God. Holy crap. That's it. I think that's enough for a feeding. That's for damn sure. Right when we rolled up here, we looked down on the seawall and there was a little tiny barracuda. Gosh, do I wish that we could keep them when they're that small because they are just ferocious when they're that size. Anything you put in the water, they eat because they're just trying to get as big as possible, as fast as possible. We got some Haas mullet and you know who loves Haas mullet? The big boys because I want to put that jack, decent sized jack, in the pond and hopefully he won't get eaten because that would be kind of cool to see him zip around there, live feedings, it'd be pretty epic if we can have that jack in the pond. Pretty big one. Really so great. let's stuff these guys. Look at these horses. That's a horse. That's holy shit. Dude, literally. Look at that. Our groupers in our pond are about to eat this big of a friggin' bait. That's insane. He got messed up by something. He's got like a messed up face. Honestly, I think we're doing this guy a favor. I really think we're doing this guy a favor yeah, by this. Yeah, it looks like someone punched him in the head. Pots is pissed. You're gonna hand feed him, let him swim. Let him swim. Pots All right, ready? Chase Here we go. Pots will chase it. Here we go. Oh! Holy crap. Here comes Pots. Here comes Pots. Oh, Pans wants it. Pans wants it. They all want it. They all want it. That's a freaking beefy nacho loaded griller, dude. Look at the eel. The eel. Here it comes. This is his death. This is his death sentence. Oh. oh. <laughs> Should we put more in there? Dude, I've never seen Pans this active. Usually he's super lazy. Pans is fired up, dude. Oh my god, it's gonna happen right now. Look at 
Look at Potts. Look at Potts, staging it up. Oh. Dude, he's chasing him hard. Oh, he just got it. He just got it. In the back. He's got it. He just crushed it. Oh! Oh, he spit it out. 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 What the hell? Holy crap. Hands is gushing blood. Oh my god. Hands is done. Potts is done. Potts is done. How? What the f happened? I think he f***ing did it. What the hell? Oh my god, bro. I don't know what is good with this fish. He could be back to back weeks. This this guy's bleeding. What the f***, man? It's him. He f***ing What did he do? He bit him. If you go back in the clip, I guarantee you'll see him in the GoPro. I'm gonna cry. That's f***ing, man. Dude, he's ready. I don't know if you guys saw that, but this fish is giving me literally heart attacks and agita every single day. Agita. <laughs> Last week, the eel nicked his gill, and this week, we feed him the mullet. He, he gets one, chases it down, does all the dirty work, and Pans comes over and bites him in the head, must have clipped his gill, and he he, this, he was bleeding ten, ten times worse. By yeah, far. By far. I thought he was our whole Our whole pond was red for a second. Bright red. I turned the pond back on and started get it filtering again. I'm going to have a freaking panic attack with this fish. He's my favorite fish in the world, that, pan, that bumblebee grouper. And Pans nicked his gill. That's back-to-back -back weeks he's been injured and almost murdered. Look, he's right here. He's fine. He's ready. He wants to eat more fish, but like... I don't want, I'm scared to feed him if that cut opens back up, but... I thought that was it for, for pots. Five spots. But you can see on the top of his head, he got nicked, he got bit by pants. So he's gotten beat up by an eel and by pants today, or in the last two weeks. And before we even got him, he has a big hole in penny size, or dime size, or freaking quarter size hole on the top of his head because he got bit by a giant clown trigger before we even he's bought this fish. He's a trooper. Dude has been through some battles, bro. Everything comes in threes. This might be it for pods. <laughs> so as you guys can see in this clip that Jack was filming on my phone, you see when Potts gets the mullet in his mouth on the other side of the rocks, he smokes it, swims off to his OG spot where he likes to camp out by, by the left side of the rocks. He likes to just sit there. That's his little cave. And Pans goes over and bites him right on the side of the head. You can see it clear as day in the video. Pans got him right on the side of the head, probably nicked under his gill. But it was Pans. Pans was the culprit this time, not the eel. The first time was the eel. Yeah. We're gonna have to take Pans and, and leave him in the in the street. That's my boy in there. If you mess with my boy one more time, that's it. What do we say? We always say, if you're not nice to the fish in the pond, you get kicked out. He's close. He's real damn close. So we got Pots right here, and we can kind of see a better look right there on the top of his head. That's the scar. That was Pans' mouth right there, biting, latching onto Pots. We're gonna give him a small mullet here. We're gonna make sure he gets it right away. Hey. You're soaked. You are soaked. Okay, that's a good sign, guys. Groupers are some of the most badass, toughest creatures that literally swim in the ocean. So, you know, things like that are gonna happen from time to time. But as you guys can see, that was not even five minutes ago and he's already eating again. It's a great sign to see Potts is doing well. Guys, we're not gonna feed any more of the mullets. We got all these mullets for that to happen. We're not gonna put the jack in. We're gonna let them chill. Because if we put the jack in, then they're gonna fight over it again. Pots get bit. We don't want that to happen. So for now, we're gonna keep a close eye on these guys and we're gonna have to get some more mullet for these I think boys. We gotta maybe get some more big fish. Yeah, we gotta so get some more not big the fish. Two of them. I agree. We gotta get some more big fish in here. I think we gotta throw a bunch of mullet in at the same time so they're not fighting over the yeah. same one. Yeah. That's key. I'll keep you guys updated on pots. Go to Instagram, maybe I'll drop uh, some updates on there as well at the fish guys. Go follow us. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace. Rock on.